All right, War Robots fans, this is Bag of Soup coming at you with a couple of uh, more battles from the 2.7 test server. This is February 25th, 2017. Uh, normally in the regular uh, live server, I tend to run with a lot of shield bots like the Gareth, the Galahad, the Lancelot. Uh, even my mid-range bots like the Carnage have some kind of shield on them. Uh, I just feel a little more secure out there on the battlefield away from snipers or uh, up close from uh, brawlers to have those kind of shields in place. But during the test server, I've been trying out some different things like the uh, uh, all the jumping bots like the Rog and Griffin or all the gunslingers. And I've kind of put together a lineup of some of the my favorite bots over the weekend that don't have any shields. An all non-shielded lineup. Uh, the Rog for beacon running, then the Dock with uh, uh, Terrans and Orkins for brawling, and then the uh, Doc with Tolumbus for mid-range, uh, a Death Button Griffin uh, for close combat, and then just a, uh, a Butch with Tridents and Zeus for uh, mid-range there. So I'm going to run an, uh, an all-non-shielded uh, bot hanger here on the test server and just see how it goes. Of course, we're testing out the new spawn points on Shinzen and uh, little changes with Springfield and Yamount Tau. Uh, and, of course, the new weapon effects uh, as well. We're going to see if the game is a little laggy uh, because of the new weapon effects. And then we're going to check out the weapon effects themselves and see how they do. And just see how a hanger of non-shielded bots uh, does out there. Uh, I know a lot of people use griffins already, so that's pretty obvious that it can work. Uh, but just something I'm not very used to. So we'll jump into a match, and uh, we'll see what map we get and go from there. Hopefully it's not a, a big, wide-open, uh, long map where I get uh, pelted down by snipers. Let's hope for the best here. Oh, this is great. We're in a power plant here, and uh, as you can tell, it's gone back to the daytime for the test server. Uh, we don't know what's going to be when the game hits again uh, with the new update. I'm going to jump in with the ROG. I've been uh, trying to beacon run with the ROG. I could probably throw in a Jesse with pinatas or aphids as well. Uh, and we'll see how we do. But normally I would take a um, Gareth or Galahad to beacon run because I like the shield on them. Uh, I tried the Rog Terrans and wasn't super happy with it um, at higher levels like I am at lower levels. But I sure have enjoyed the Rog Orkins, uh, surprisingly. So uh, we're going to give that another try here. As long as I can keep it alive. But it should be a good bot for this kind of... Uh, uh, map. All right, we just took out most of a Japard there, or Geppard. Let's see who else is coming around the corner while we charge up our Orkins here. That's a Stalker there. We got to be careful of. And we'll see if we can close the gap here. And we'll be watching for any of the targets we can hit. I'm keeping my distance just because I don't have shields, and I know that he does. So, And I'm watching for that Leo sniper as well. Let's see if we could just jump in and take out that Leo. Normally the hill would be a problem, but we've got a jump feature, so that helps. And we've got a Ry uh, it looks like a, can't be a Raijin with Molotsu, it would have to be a, um, uh, a uh, Fujin with Punishers. So, okay, so we didn't get very close with our um, Rog there, we got taken out uh, because we had uh, guys on two sides of us, so just next time we'll have to make a uh, better choice there. Let's jump in with our the bot we do know that works at higher levels. Because of the hit points and the extra firepower over Rog, which is the Death Button Griffin. This is definitely a very popular bot at higher levels, so we'll jump in with that. And we've got our jump ready, and I do see that Fujin around the corner, but we don't know if he's activated his shield yet. So we'll wait a little bit and see who this is right here. Uh oh. That was that Fujin. 
And we'll work on this uh, Galahad here. Let's back off around the corner because we'd have to save up some uh, rockets to deal with that um, Ansel shield there. Oops, we launched our rockets a little too early or a little too late, depending on how we see it. Jump out of here. And we're going to back off from this uh, dock. And we're able to avoid most of his fire. So we're still alive in our uh, death button griffin. Just ate a bunch of Punishers or Molots there. They really ate me up there. And we gotta watch out for that Fury also. Let's see if we can take out that Molot Griffin there. All right, he got taken out by a combination of our firepower. And let's work our way around to this plasma griffin here. Let's see if we can ambush him. I may jump right into the line of fire against this other guy over here, but that happens. We took out the guy we were going for, so that's good. And we're getting hit by uh, a few different things. One more blast, we could take him out. Man, we were close. Notice how my shots uh, still hit after uh, I died? That's a new feature of this last test server, too, is they've been able to um, uh, move track of who's firing onto maybe the client side of the game rather than the server side, however that works, so that um, when you die, your bullets that are traveling at the same time don't disappear. Uh, so hopefully if you shoot off a volley right before you die, it should actually hit the other player and maybe take them out, which is a, a neat thing. I'm going to switch to hit this guy just around the corner here, but he's got that Ansel, so. Uh, Ansel guy protecting him, but we took out most of that guy. Uh, this has been a fun bot to, to run, the, uh, the dock um, with Terrans and Orkins. I like having the option at different times to reload and different... Um, Facing different bots. Now see my guns are automatically firing. I'm not even holding down the button. So that's something that um, I noticed earlier is I was having auto fire on some of my guns. Yeah, I really, uh, I really like this uh, dock for switching around uh, weapons. It's been really fun. And he doesn't have a shield or jump, but he does have the. Um, the fast speed, which is nice. So let's see if we can outmaneuver these uh, guys coming at us here. I'll probably get killed by this guy, but we'll try and get a few shots off of, uh, off of him here. Off of our Terrans before he takes us out. If I could just switch to Orkins in time, we could have taken him out uh, to finish him off here. Here he is right here. Let's see if we can get a shot off before he dies. Nope. See, my weapons just fired automatically and I didn't touch him. That's the second time this uh, match that's happened. Uh, and it happened in earlier matches. I just wasn't quite sure why it was happening. I thought I overtouched the button or something, but. Uh, the weapons are definitely firing before you hit the uh, anywhere near the targeting button at all. So it's something to be mindful of. I think they just fired again. I, of course, I was aiming in the right direction for it. But I think they fired again right as I switched. So just something to keep in mind. Um, if you're giving feedback on the test server is to check, check on that. Let's see if we can finish these last couple guys off here. I really enjoyed this dock with uh, Tolumbus, for Tolumbus. 
You can shoot real fast and get four Tulumbas worth of damage in. And at, unlike a um, Fujin, which just has three, you actually have the speed to get away, uh, which is nice. Uh, the cool the the switch down on the cool uh, or the cool down on the switch maneuver is great as well. I think that's it. So uh, not the best round ever. We got ambushed uh, from two different directions on our rog. Uh, over jumped in with our death button Griffin, uh, but we got to try a little bit of everything almost and uh, had some fun with it. Let's take a look and see how we did. Uh, not bad, not bad at all. Uh, let's take a look and see what our top guy was running there. He did a, a really good job over a million damage. Uh, he's averaging over a million almost, and you can tell he is definitely running some of the best spots uh, out there. The Ancelot um, Terrans and the Death Blade and Griffin and Plasma Galahad are pretty hard to beat, and he's running all brawlers and up close fighters. So, so that was a great match. So anyway, that's what I'm uh, running here is the um, just an all non-shield bot lineup uh, with the Rog Orkins, uh, Doc Terrans and Orkins, the Doc Tolumbus, and the Death Button Griffin, and the Butch. We haven't tried yet with the um, Tridents and Zeus. So uh, if you uh, liked this video, please click, click like and um, pass the video around. If you have any comments or questions or requests on some other non-shielded bots to test out or any other setups, uh, just let me know in the comment section below. Also curious what you think about the, uh, the new uh, weapon effects um, in this test server. Uh, and if you like this channel and haven't done so yet, please subscribe to it. Uh, we got more videos coming uh, all week long. And I definitely thank you for watching. And I guess what we'll do is we'll just try one more match to uh, check out another map if we can get one and see how this non-shielded uh, bot hanger does here. I think I've played on all of, all of the maps so far this uh, test server weekend. It's a shame we don't have the new dash bot to test out again or the uh, the new uh, moon map that they're working on. But I, I can see where they really want to test the um, weapon effects and have people concentrate on that. Uh, also the league system that is being put in place uh, with the next game update uh, this week. Uh, they're also testing out again. So with the weapons um, effects, we're, we're looking to see if the frame rate on the game uh, holds up or if there's any extra lag from it, um, if it's uh, too graphic intensive. We're also checking to see if, if we like the look. I feel like the new... Uh, Weapons effects are a little cartoony. They're kind of big and cartoony, especially the Orkins and Tridents and, and Tolumbus. Um, they, they just don't look as realistic as the uh, previous weapons do, almost like it, it's a, um, a downgrade, uh, even the Zeus Lightning. Uh, and sometimes it's hard to tell what direction you're being hit from as well, so that's tricky. Or uh, there's a delay in, in the damage actually hitting you. Well, I guess I'll go ahead and jump into my, my ROG as my beacon runner and uh, go from there. This is a pretty uh, tough challenge for all non-shielded bots, but we'll give it a try because uh, there definitely can be a lot of snipers out there. I think I played this one earlier and got um, 750k damage. We lost that one. Uh, in the end, we just didn't have enough uh, guys actively playing out there. Uh, but we had to do the best we could with uh, long-range snipers out there. So I'm going to do my best to get uh, down uh, the center beacon before anyone uh, gets to me here. I think I got hit with some aphids, but we uh, got to cover before most of those hit us. And we'll see who we can target. But yeah, I'm really enjoying the uh, Rog Orkins quite a bit. I'm going to try and stay back next to this Natasha. This is great. This guy has um, a double uh, Ansel and double ECU shield, so let's stay right with him and hang out a little bit and see if we can protect him as he protects us. And here comes a Doc that's coming our way, so we'll stay back. Uh, one of the things I really like about the Rog Orkins is that it... Um, 
Yeah, this guy's doing a really great job to protect us, so we'll try and protect him. Okay, he, this guy switched to uh, plasma weapons, so we um, were able to fend him off. But I love this bot because it's fast, it's nimble, and it has a, a quicker jump than the griffin in case you need to get out of there. And I love that this guy's uh, staying with me to protect me. The Orkins help for corner shooting as well. And we've got a couple bo uh, buddies here that can help us out. Now the only issue with the uh, Orkins is the time to reload. you got to let these things recharge back again. And uh, they're not going to be great against that Ancelot. And I don't really have a lot of weaponry to deal with that. I hate to leave my buddy there, but we may have to um, get out of there. So our ROG has been doing great. We've had a number of kills so far. Let's stay back from this uh, Ancelot here. And we'll work on that Japard as he comes around each side. So we're still looking pretty good here. We've got to help out our um, Ancelot buddy. I just don't know what we can do in, other than jump in. Let's try and jump into a shield and take him out here. Ready? Jumped right behind him. Got inside his shield. Yes, that was awesome. Uh, the ROG is, um, like I said, quick and, and fast, and it has that, that quick jump. So we're actually able to jump inside the um, Ancelot shield to finish the last little bit out. So let's get ready to take on this guy here and jump back if necessary. And our team has gotten this guy mostly down. But we're going to back off because he's got another buddy coming around, and we've got to recharge our... Um, Orkins again. But so far, because of this uh, Natasha, we've been able to hold this uh, center beacon pretty well. Now, we would be no good against that uh, Carnage Zeus, so we'll have to be mindful of that. Okay. This guy rocks. I need to take a photo of this guy here uh, for the historical archives here. And finally, that guy showed his face around the corner, and we were able to take him out. Uh, so, man, this ROG has lasted this entire battle so far, over half the battle. Uh, but no, uh, in no small part to the, um, uh, the Natasha there protecting us, which is neat. Okay, so this guy's coming in. Let's uh, get over here and see what we're dealing with. See if we can knock that shield down a little bit. And he's just about taken out. Let's recharge our stuff. I, yeah, I'm amazed that the ROG has lasted this long here. Uh, it just happens to be the right place in the right time, and that Natasha is a uh, right here is a huge part of that. Let's see if this guy comes around the corner here. Trying to get back out of the range of Terran fire and get into that Ancelot shield. Still going. And let, oh man, this is like like a wreckage of bodies. I got to take another photo of that. That's just too funny. And see if we can take out some of these guys with their shields here. Uh, they're giving. They're. I mean, they're trying to put up a fight for um, Center Beacon. That Natasha is just um, uh, doing uh, pretty awesome. Let's whittle down this um, uh, Ancelot again and see if we can. I gotta get back to three. Uh, I'm gonna back off from that carnage and come around the corner. They're trying. That carnage is trying to wear me out. So let's stay right here for a moment. Maybe do some corner shooting here. Oh man, got taken out. We lasted a long time. I guess I'll jump into because uh, the Tolumbus that we've got with the dock may not do a really great against all these Ansel shields out there. Uh, we could have used the Butch with the Fury with the Zeus and Tridents, but I like having the option to um, 
switch for Orkins uh, back and forth. Wow. Uh, whatever just happened there, some guys got majorly taken out. Uh, that was crazy. Uh, but I like having the option to be able to switch back and forth from Terrans to Orkins, depending on what kind of shields we see. So if it's Carnage, we sh switch to Terrans. If it's a shield bot, we switch to Orkins and so forth. I have to assume that the uh, Natasha finally got taken out, but man, that was the star of the show for sure. Okay, let's see if this guy's going to uh, surprise us here. This is our Doc, Terran Orkins, and man, those uh, Orkins just chewed that guy up. Okay, let's go ahead and come around this way since we might as well head towards their spawn point if they're starting to mech out here. And I might switch to Terrans for this guy since he uh, doesn't have shield. And uh, once again, the Doc has been surprisingly versatile with the Tolumbus and the uh, uh, Orkins, or the uh, or the Tolumbus mid range, and then the Terran Orkins has been great. And that was a great match. We only used what one and a half bots. Uh, barely didn't even scratch the paint on our second bot. Uh, and did that whole match. Revolution in front of us, that was the Natasha uh, shield guy. So that was neat. Um, we'll see how we ended up doing here. Gosh, we didn't even score very high, apparently, compared to some of these other guys. Uh, Revolution scored the lowest, but I want to keep in mind that that guy uh, saved the team with his Natasha there. So I know Pixonic said they're going to try and work on some ways to reward players in battle that um, go beyond just kills and damage and beacons only because there are ways to to contribute to the team like that uh, bottom guy did, Revolution, and he should get some kind of credit for that. Uh, that's kind of hard to track, but uh, it'll be neat if they work on it. We'll look at our top player here, JJ, see what he was running. He's got a pretty high average, and he's running a Fury Zeus and uh, Carnage Zeus, uh, which I love. Plasma Griffin, uh, Ancelot, Terran. Uh, and the Plasma Galahad. So he's got a neat setup he's running and did a great job. We'll go ahead and look at our average and, and kind of see how we've been doing the uh, last few battles here. Uh, once again, not bad at all with non-shield bots here. We've been doing uh, pretty good. And lastly, we're going to check out the leagues and see where we are uh, with that process. We should be over 800 uh, trophies or cups by now. We are at 830. And it says two more battles uh, on the right, and we would progress from the Rookie League to the Private League. Uh, so we'll look forward to seeing more of that in the live server. Anyway, that's it. That's me running uh, a, an all non-shield bot hanger. Um, just curious what you think about the ROG Orkins uh, there. That, that bot did fantastic when partnered up with some other guys, holding down Center Beacon. Um, and uh, in the last couple matches, what you thought of the dock with the Terrans and Orkins, if you thought that was a good set up in the Tolumbus, uh, double Tolumbus. Of course, we saw the, the DB uh, Death Button Griffin get some great action as well. Uh, just curious what you like to run on some of these bots, the Rog, the Doc, Griffin, and the Butch, and uh, what you think of the weapon effects. Uh, please leave a comment below in the comment section. If you have any requests for any bots or setups you'd like me to run this weekend, I'd be glad to do so. Uh, and what you think of the new weapon effects. Do you like them? Do you not like them? you think it's slowing down the game or making it hard to see who's hidden who? Uh, or do you think we just need to get used to them a little bit? Uh, that's it. This is Bag of Soup coming at you, and I hope you have a great War Robots day.